Ron Atchison for AutoForge.net, and today I've got my good friend Ole from Flitz in the shop. And if you know anything about Flitz, you instantly associate Flitz with metal polish. Well, Flitz has a wide variety of products, and Ole's here to help me with a problem that plagues all of us, and that is getting brake dust, rotor dust, whatever you want to call it, on the wheels of our car. You wash the car, you clean it, and you're left with these terrible brown stains that you just can't get off. Well, Ole's got the solution for it. And as you can see on this wheel, there's quite a bit of rust stains in between them. And, you know, the rest of the wheel looks okay, but that really takes away from it. So It does, Ron. And one of the problems, is you, you know, we talked about earlier, the rotors, you get a light brake dust, and that's actually metal shavings. Right. So you're actually turning into rust. And then when this, when you don't take these off, eventually it gets so hard, it almost stains the clear coat because all these wheels are not pure metal. I should say they are metal, but they're coated with a clear coat over them. Right. Now what happens, that clear coat, if it, all the staining gets on here, turns yellow eventually, just like a faded paint. And it's super hard to get off. And this way I want to show an easy way to take this off. <laughs> But let me knead down here for, for a second. Well, this, this also I've, I've seen in the past where it actually etches into the paint and starts removing the paint. Exactly. Yeah, Especially so. around the real, right around the lug nut, uh, no, more lug well, nuts too. Well, but hang hang on, I don't mean to interrupt you, Oli, but let me give you one of our Auto oh. Forge knee and back mats. Be, Fantastic. A lot more comfortable than that plastic four on your knee. It sure does. Give, give that a try. These are awful thick. Oh, it's you know, nice. One of things, did we talk about this earlier? These are chemical resistance too, aren't they? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can get wheel cleaners, soaps, whatever on oh. it. You simply wash it off. It will not absorb anything. It's got the same coating on both sides. And if you see here, it's got the red paint on the edges of it so you don't accidentally trip it. It's easy to go. see on the floor. So well, thank you. How's that feel? Oh, man. A little bit better? I'll definitely have to use this more often for <laughs> yeah. sure. So what I'm going to start with is a pry called Metal Preclean. Okay. Now the great thing about this chemical, it's very strong, but it's made of salt. It's a salt-based product. It comes out of Canada. And when you use acids on wheels, if anybody's ever used acid here for any of your customers, you know anything as soon as acid hits something, it turns it white. And something like this, you don't want to use an acid with. If you notice, I'm doing this with bare hands. Well, acids can be very dangerous. If you put that on the wrong product, you cause damage worse than what you're trying to fix, and then your wheel is just ruined. Right. And what makes a chemical stop working, Ron, is water. So simple. You just simply rinse it. As soon as you rinse it, it instantly stops working. What we're going to do, though, we're going to take this product and spray it right on here. Okay. And people say, oh, how long, how shall long should I let it sit? Well, you can let it sit two, three minutes if you want to, but it's not necessary. Right. 30 seconds to a minute later, this will dissolve that calcium very, very easily. Now, and, go ahead. not to cut you off. No. Great. One thing I know about cleaning wheels, no matter what you're using, it, the wheel needs to be cool to the touch. You do not, and I'm assuming it's, this product is the same way, you do not want to use it on a, on a hot, hot wheel. wheel. No. Yes, because it, it, it dries too quickly. Right. And, um, and agitates it. Now these brushes here, at, through Auto Forge, is a long, if you can feel it, it yeah. just gives you a little agitation. Yeah, that's made by Will Woolies. Was it? Yeah. It's fantastic. It gives you a little bit of scrubbing power. Look at See that. how fast it dissolves? Just it's like that. Instant. Yeah. And what I like about it, around your, the valve stem with the rubber like this, you're not going to harm it. It doesn't break it loose, and it just takes a little agitation. Wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me go ahead. Try, me try that. Try it on the edge like that. Yeah. Look, look at that. Look at that. It just disappears. Instantly. Yeah. I call this, probably, it's, it's almost, I hate to say miracle worker, but it's so fast and so easy. But again, now we've done this wheel, Ron, the most important part is you have to rinse it. Okay. If you don't rinse it, it's going to... So we don't want to take a towel and just wipe it off. We want to... It, and you could wipe it off, but the problem is there's still going to be some chemical left in there. Right. So I'm going to take... Just some N914. Your, yep, your waterless. I'm just going to spray it here. Make sure we neutralize all the chemical. Here, let me give you a towel. You got a microfiber oh, got there? Yeah, fine. I'll take this microfiber. Okay. And we just wipe it off. And that's it. That's it. We're done. Now, the problem is, you know, if you take your car through a car wash, they're not going to get every detail like this. No. And in most cases, you know, some of us are anal like myself, and I do everything myself, and I want to make sure it's always perfect. Right. But at the same time, how do you keep those brake dust stains off? Now, we all know there's different ceramic sealants. And sure. ceramics are big on paint, 
even on glass. People don't realize you can use a ceramic sealant like this right on glass as well as a wheel. Yeah, as the wheel stands right now, it's, it, there is no protection. There is nothing to stop the brake dust and rust from sticking to it. So. Exactly. Now, a Flitz ceramic sealant is what we call a four to one ratio. Um, it's, it's basically pre-mixed because a okay. true ceramic coating comes in small bottles, as you know, Ron. It's like 300 bucks a bottle and you really got to know what you're doing to put it on. Right. This is simple. You simply spray it on. Here, let me, let me wipe it off. You're, you're having all the fun with the products here. I know, but I'm comfortable on your new uh, mat over here, yeah. so I have no problem with that. Well, you know what? I can instantly feel the difference. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. It, it's, it, I know on camera, people, you can't feel it you like we are. You can see it, but right. it's amazing what a ceramic coating will do on metal as well as on paint. Yeah, it's making a wheel very yeah. slick. And what I would suggest at least with our ceramic sealant, give it two hours to cure. It takes two hours to truly harden. Right now it's dry to the touch, mm -hmm. but two hours from now is when it gets super, super hard. And that way when you get brake dust in the future, you know, even if you just get mud, anything like that, it just washes off so easily. So if we use the cleaner, the metal pre-clean. Correct. And then we put the ceramic sealant on there, the next time around, we'll probably be able to get away with just soap and water. 100% correct. You get almost a year protection coating. So okay. this will hold up very well. Right. And especially when you have a foreign car, the foreign cars that brake dust are so much worse than we do a lot of times American made cars, just because of the, the brake pads being as hard as they are. Right, so if we've got the ceramic on there, this, this is not a product we're gonna need to use every single time we wash the car. So a bottle like this will actually last us quite a it long will. time. It really will. But when you have so, water stains on paint and things, you can right. use this on paint, you can use it on plastics, where you wish. It's right, definitely so the, the value is definitely there. Right. Well, I'm well, glad I, I solved this problem for you. Oh, it worked great. I mean, the wheel, it took the rust like, got, it's, it's gone. Quick. So I hope you found the video informative. Ole, thanks for stopping in. My pleasure, Ron. Showing me your new trick with your, with your product there. It worked fantastic. Thank you. If you'd like to learn any more information on Flitz products, click on the link below. I'll provide links to all the products we use today so they're easy for you to find. Ole, thanks again. Have a great week. If you like this video and like to see more like it, please subscribe. This is Ron Atchison for AutoForge.net. Thanks for watching.